nice to meet you. How are you doing? Uh, good, thank you. Um, what was the, the your, like the most memorable moment on set filming this video? Wow, I mean the most memorable moment, so many, but the we were filming in the Ukraine which is so bitterly cold. Like uh, to the point where someone did that experiment where you throw up hot water and by the time it lands it's ice basically, it was that cold. And I jumped into a frozen lake. That was pretty memorable, I'll never shake that. I don't think I've warmed up since, but it was all very, very memorable. That sounds amazing. Um, and what was, why do you think it's important to tell this story? What's your favorite part of the story? Why do you think? This story um, is, is just such a, a sad, sad thing that nobody knew, knew about it for so long. I didn't know about it when I first heard about it, and I felt so ashamed. But the, the fact that it only came out in 1991, is is so upsetting for, for something to happen on such a large scale and for the world not to know about it and for us now to know very little about it I think it's important it's important that, that this story is told it's important for the Ukrainian people because this is something that's affected generations and generations and still when we talk to our Ukrainian crew and cast they would talk about it from their great grandparents or their grandparents or their parents you know who survived or didn't survive this and so it's a really important story for them and um, why do you think that it's important to tell it through a love story? Like, why did you think that's a great way to tell it? Well, I think that the love story, um, I think that, I think and when people are in a desperate situation or people are helpless, I think love is really something that can make you survive that little bit longer um, and give you that bit of hope. And I think that for me and Max, the things that happened to us in, in the film are, are real accounts that we heard from people of the way they tried to survive or you know, th things that happened to their parents, stuff like that. So it's all, you know, it felt very truthful, I think. Perfect. And what was your favorite thing about working with Max last week? Oh. Well, me and Max got on so well from day one, which is important because the first day of filming um, was the first time I met him. So it was great that I got on with him straight away, which is lucky. And um, he was so fantastic. And for a lot of the movie, we're split apart. And so actually when we'd meet up in the makeup trailer every day, we'd be like, what happened? And he'd be like, this was happening, this happened. And I was like, oh my God, it's actually seeing the film. It was so exciting to see how our storylines blended together and see what he was up to all that time. Yeah, I think the most challenging aspect of playing this character is um, the fact that this is a real story that happened to real people so you want to honor that because it's a very sensitive story um, this th this awful awful tragedy the Holodomor killed between two and ten million people and for that not to be known by I didn't know about it and a lot of people I spoke to didn't know about it so that was a challenging aspect because you know this story deserves to be told and it needs to be told and just you know, honouring honouring the people this happened to was the challenging aspect. Many other challenging aspects in terms of, for me as an actress, just approaching the character, but um, that was definitely the main one. I get on with Tamar so well, and when I first met Tamar, he apologised. He was like, "I'm so sorry for the things that are going to happen in this movie," and luckily we get on like a house on fire. So there are some really disturbing scenes and moments that me and Tamar had to have. Um, that it's sort of difficult to know how to deal with them and how to prepare for them mentally, but it was handled very sensitively, and luckily Tam is awesome, and we have a great friendship, so it was as comfortable as, it, as those scenes could ever be. And George Mendelok, our director, is so passionate about the Ukrainian history. He is Ukrainian, and, you know, it's so, it's so um, important to have somebody like him like leading us because... There isn't a thing he doesn't know about the Ukrainian culture, and it, it's about the Ukrainian people, so it needs to be done um, sensitively. And he, you know, is such a great fountain of knowledge when it when it came to this. He led us in the right direction, the, the really great things to read, and so we were completely all, you know, up to speed, and we'd done our homework before we even stepped foot on the set. Um, I think my my message to people would definitely be, you know, I didn't know about this horrible moment in the Ukrainian history, and so. I think, come watch the movie because I think you'll feel like me, ashamed that you didn't know about this. And I think it's really important to hear the Ukraine's story and, in this way.